Good morning. Welcome to Caddx TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. This is a live broadcast from Princeton, New Jersey. Today is Thursday, February 5th, 2009. It's 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. It's 4.30 p.m. in London. If you need to reach us during the broadcast, you can phone in toll-free at 1-866-67-CADEX. Overseas, our AOL instant mail address is Caddx TV. We have some pretty big news in the reinsurance sector today. We've been uh, talking about how a number of the companies have been reporting and the jungle drums have been beating about Swiss Re. Some nervousness from the analysts that there are still write downs to report. And this morning we began to get some news. Swiss Re announced this morning it will raise a further 3 billion Swiss francs in capital from Berkshire Hathaway, a new investor. Here he is, Warren Buffett. He uh, had a little slice of Swiss Re, now he has a bigger slice. It could be up to more than 20% if things break his way. Uh, he has an option for a further 2 billion Swiss franc investment subject to market conditions. Not only that investment, but Swiss Re also entered into an adverse development cover with Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway on Swiss Re's property and casualty reserves, now providing a total coverage of 5 billion Swiss francs. Over the past few weeks, Swiss Re, of course, has seen its share price hammered amid rumors of weakness in its investment portfolio. In the conference call this morning, Swiss Re CEO Jacques Agron said that negotiations were, quote, very recent. Swiss Re said that it expects to report a 1 billion Swiss franc loss for 08. That's about 860 million U.S. Uh, this is a result of investment losses at one of the group's units, which offered a number of swap options. That unit was put into runoff in 07. According to Mr. Agron, we did not foresee the size of the turmoil and the scale in which these losses would be formed. Those losses drove down surplus regulatory capital, taking it down to about one and a half to uh, two billion Swiss franc uh, below the level required to maintain its double A rating. The action today will help improve that. Uh, according to Mr. Agron, they're neither proud nor satisfied with these results. In earlier comments, he uh, said that the company's uh, P&C and life and health businesses were performing well. Uh, Mr. Agron would not be drawn into any discussion as to whether he'd consider his position of CEO as safe. He said that's the responsibility of the board of directors. We're getting some more information on the structure of Buffett's investment. Uh, apparently, uh, Berkshire's investment is in the form of a, co of a convertible perpetual capital instrument paying a 12% coupon uh, that will convert in three years' time into Swiss re shares priced at 25 francs a share. Uh, it's not known if that's a mandatory conversion or whether Mr. Buffett will have the option to convert. Uh, on conversion, uh, Buffett could hold, quote, over 20% of Swiss re under certain conditions. This is according to Swiss re itself. Um, some other information, again, we're, we're putting this together as the uh, information regarding the deal dribbles out. Uh, last year, Berkshire took a 3% stake in Swiss Re for an undisclosed sum. So presumably that 3% is included in the just over 20% total, which means he took a possible up to 17% today. Uh, last year, Buffett also bought a half of 1% of Munich Re, according to German newspapers. Some of the uh, financial analysts in Zurich are saying things such as follows. The worst fears have come true and once again confirms the wisdom of the stock market that where there is smoke, there is fire. Another analyst said that as feared, Swiss Re could not extract itself from the current negative developments in financial markets. There are still considerable risks they face and this could still lead to further negative results. One negative result that they did get was Standard & Poor's has placed its AA- long-term counterparty credit and insurer financial strength rating on Swiss Re and its core affiliates on Credit Watch with negative implications. Just down the street from uh, Swiss Re on the shores of the lake is Zurich Financial Services and Zurich came out with some news today. They posted a sharp fall in full year net profit for 08 as its investments took a heavy hit from the adverse financial markets in the fourth quarter. Net income fell 47 percent down to three billion dollars while operating profit uh, fell 23 percent down to 5.2 billion. Zurich said that its net group investments fell 42 percent 
down to 5.8 billion U.S. after two and a half billion dollars of impairments. The CEO, James Shiro, issued a cautious outlook for 09, saying that while rapidly deteriorating global uh, economic environment is unlikely to improve in the short term, um, we do believe that our well-balanced portfolio and operational capabilities position as well to continue executing on our strategy. More bad news, the uh, world's um, seventh largest broker, uh, excuse me, the fifth largest broker in the world, based out in Atasca, Illinois, Arthur J. Gallagher, uh, they announced that they could be forced to cut more jobs and salary as the company reported a 79.9% drop in fourth quarter net income. J. Patrick Gallagher, Jr., the chairman, president, and CEO, said in a conference call that the broker, which has already reduced its workforce by 400 full-time positions and uh, is now freezing salary increases until 2010, they indicated that they may have to take more action. He said if the economy and pricing environment continue to decline as it did in the fourth quarter, further actions will be necessary. It could include the elimination of additional uh, work, it could include the, the additional workforce reductions and compensation adjustments. Gallagher said uh, that noting the announced measures that they already have put in place, they expect to see annual savings of 25 to 30 million, but that may not be enough. Gallagher posted a fourth quarter net income of 4.7 million, which is down from 23.4 million a year ago. The broker said that its fourth quarter revenues did increase slightly to 412 million from 410 million. So for all of 08, their net earnings were down 44 uh, percent to 77.3 million from 138.8 million. They still made 77 million dollars. According to Gallagher, in my 35 years in the business, these are the toughest times I can remember, so we're, we are really battening down the hatches. In some other news, the U.S. health insurer Cigna Corporation posted a fourth quarter loss this morning as it took another financial hit from its reinsurance business. When will that go away? However, the managed care company also forecast 2009 income that exceeded the estimates of most analysts. Philadelphia-based Cigna said it lost 209 million U.S. compared with a profit of 263 million uh, a year ago. The latest quarter results include losses of 405 million from the company's two runoff reinsurance segments. Those are variable annuity death benefits and the guaranteed minimum death benefits. Cigna also took a $35 million charge in the fourth quarter due to recently announced job cuts. They've cut about 4% or 1,000 uh, jobs. Excluding, a, uh, excluding all one-time items, the company said that it did earn $0.49 cents per share. A 6% rise in premiums and fees helped lift revenue 8% to $4.82 million. $4 billion. Cigna said that losses from the runoff reinsurance businesses were due mostly to unfavorable changes in equity markets and interest rates. The company has dis discontinued those businesses uh, nine years ago in 2000. It operates them in runoff mode, meaning they don't seek or accept any new business. News from Trieste, Italy, from Generali, saying that the report of a possible departure from the company by co-chief executive Giovanni Perissinato to become director general of state-owned RAI is groundless. The Italian Daily Libero reported this morning that Prime Minister Berlusconi of Italy met with Mr. Perissinotto last week to offer him the job. That is apparently groundless according to the company. We have uh, now some uh, announcements from our sponsors and we'll come back with the rest of the news.